I'm going to put the chickens away. It's such a nice light. And I kept thinking that I would get the phone out as we came back from the hospital, but I didn't. So the trees are looking really lovely as we drive along the roads, really beautiful colours. And um, it's just that time of the evening. So as you can see, we've got a bit more damage after last night's storm. had a conversation with Ludo last night and um, I'm going to get him to take the fence panels down because we want to replace them anyway. They may as well go down now. I also sent a message to our neighbour, the mayor, and he's going to come and have a look this week. You coming? Ida. I've got bread for her. I've got the wrong bloody shoes on. Okay. Oh well. Don't want to get chicken poo on my shoes, do I? Hmm? Don't bite my fingers. Why my fingers? There. Okay. I normally try to give her a soak at this point, but she just backs off. You're not very good, are you? You're just in for the food and that's all. I got my best crocs on. <laughs> They're the only things that are comfortable. There's not enough foliage in the garden to show you how lovely it is. It's all out along the road. So he had a good visit with one of the surgeons. He had two surgeons, apparently. And um, it was, wasn't the surgeon we knew very well who he saw, who was shocked. Is there an egg in there? No. Who was shocked that it was only six weeks post-surgery and said normally we'd expect you to still be on crutches at three months well, Mark, Mark's not been on crutches since week one all in everybody happy hmm um, I'm not going to go in they've got food in here they've got these blocks that they are pecking at so this is Maron sits down there in the straw, which isn't very good. The other two perch together on the roost. Yeah, I'm not going to go in. I don't want to get poo on my crocs. See you in the morning. Yeah, so it's really he's really pleased with his recovery. The so he was one of the surgeons. The two of them worked together. I wondered how many knees they do each day and how whether they get bored in the end. So that's it, really. Apart from continue with some physio, which he does at home as well. So he's doing quads, squats, using his bike a bit. We walked a long way, so <laughs> the, uh, the corridor from reception down to the um, x-ray department is about 750 feet long, yards long. It's really, really long. And we walked both ways so that was enough for the day Mark had had enough by the time we've been around in shop doing a bit of shopping as well so he's had enough 
I'm going to have, I bought a really nice bottle of wine, I'm going to have a bit of celebratory wine. I'm going to have a bit of pasta, I'm trying to avoid bread. I've been eating bread. And um, it's not been doing very well with my stomach. That's it, all over till tomorrow. Will you be okay? Not really, Mum. Wood's all wet now. Yeah, a bit of pasta and cheese for me and then a bit of red wine, I think. Oh, that looks cosy. I'm going in there.